Today I would like to show you the measure tool in Create. You will find the measure tool in Windows, Extensions, search for measure, in tab General, you will find the measure tool. If it's not installed, there is an installation button here, install it, and don't forget to activate the extension with this slider here. If you select the measure tool, you will find the slider here as well. And that's it. Close this window. And then to choose the measure tool, go to Tools, Measure, and you will see the measure tool here as an extra tab. To start measuring, you only see the display section, but as soon as you select, for example, point-to-point -point measurement, you will see the placement section, you will see display section move down a little bit, and you have options for placement and options for display. So for point-to-point -point measure, for example, you can start with vertex, and um, as soon as you hover with your mouse, you will see a snap feature and you can select the first and the second point and then you see the measurement. If you select with your left mouse button in the space the measurement disappears. So you can start multiple measurements again and again and then here it just disappears selecting into space here. So this is point to point measure if you go to multi point you can do the same select the first point select the second point maybe choose the direction a little bit and select the third point and select the fourth point and the fifth point and with the right mouse button you can close the selection and you see this individual values the labels here and this is the total value select into space and it disappears. For angle measurement, let's jump to the edge selection here and let's zoom in a little bit here to measure uh, angle. So let's start with the first selection point and then the second and the third and you see with this circle this is the area you measured. And if you zoom out a little bit, you see both value, the inner circle, and uh, the inner angle, and the outer angle. And this is how it works to measure angle. Just select in space and then it disappears. The last um, option is to measure area. As soon as you choose area, you will see the option constraint 2 is available and you can choose between X, Y and Z. So you can constrain the area measurement, for example, to a specific plane, um, which means, for example, in this case, let's choose Z and then I show you how it looks like. So um, if you select this point here and if you select this point here and now you see just to indicate this one here, and if you move around a little bit, you will see it's constrained to the set plane. So this allows you to do measurements in space, to do the measurements without geometry, um, and to select in space, it disappears. Normally, you just leave it as it is, stage up, and this is how it works to measure areas. In the display sections, you have options to display um, world or local. The difference here is um, a local measurement, let's say point to point. Let's choose vertex and let's go this one here and this one. You see you receive um, on top on to the value X, Y and Z. And if there are a couple of different reference systems available, the first selection references um, the basis. So that's why you can choose between a local XY set or XY set reference to a specific access system um, or a specific prim. And um, it works the same, select and then it disappears. With units you can choose between millimeters, centimeters, meters, inches, whatever you like. Um, it works exactly the same, just choose and then you see the different units. 
precision you can choose between how accurate you want to have um, and medium just as an example shows if you want to see bigger labels here so for screenshots or something else um, you can choose the size of your value and that's the measure tool